Well, hello, fellow horsemen. Today, um, we are here on another episode of what I call Shelby Shop Talk. And today, we're going to do another short little video, just, I guess, going over the nannies or all the launch control features or just basically all the traction control features or systems that help you keep this thing on the road. Um, I think they're very handy and nice to have. I've learned that a lot of uh, drag strip, uh, I guess, frequent guys that are going there a lot, uh, they like to not use it and have everything off. I don't know why, but we're going to get into that and you guys can provide in the comments um, if you think it's necessary to have it on or not necessary and uh, we'll go from there. Well. Alright guys, so here we have the Shelby GT500, the SVT book here, okay? And within it, you get to this page, it's like page 18 and I think 19, yeah. And Launch Control has like eight different settings, okay? And if you look through all of this, there's some pretty nice features. Now, I can understand at the drag strip, you know, um, not wanting to have some of them on, but this is my theory, guys. If you have traction anyways because your tires are gripping and you have the right, every, the right combination going for yourself, then Launch Control, these other things that would normally cut power, shouldn't be cutting power because you're already having traction and they're designed to cut power to the engine when you lose traction. So um, one thing I've been really loving is basically, I think it's mode six here, which is essentially a two-step feature, which basically, you know, you can set your RPM to the, the, to the desired uh, set point and you can hold your clutch in and foot to the floor and basically, it, you know, it just holds it there. And then once you release the uh, clutch, you have all the power, guys, and I mean, obviously be prepared for it, but it's just things like this. And, you know, on all the SVT forums, everyone likes to talk about, oh, this is useless, turn all the nannies off and everything. And, you know, I used to kind of think the same way, but I, I kind of don't understand it. And if you guys could shed some light for me in the comments as to uh, why you would and everything, because it would be really helpful. And maybe you guys can give me some comments as to why, because from what I can tell, Two-step is freaking awesome. And the launch control setup part of it, I mean, a lot of people say, have it off, you know, don't use it. But why? I mean, if it's all it's really gonna do is, if you lose traction, it's gonna help cut power to the engine, which if you're losing traction to begin with, then you're already not having a good run. So who cares, right? So at that point, if, if you're having traction, then it's not gonna be affected and it shouldn't affect you to have it on if these things are true you know i mean so if if you find out differently please i i would love to to hear your guys's inputs on this but yeah i mean there's so many different modes in here that just seem too handy and nice to have to simply ignore so yeah guys um basically what i would do when i went to the track is the, the setup that i would use i didn't use launch control yet i used the two-step rpm feature which i think is really nice to have um so I would, you know, fire up the car and then, you know, hold it down for eight seconds when I was in the staging lane so that all the nannies were off. And the only reason why I had it to where all the nannies were off was so I could do my burnout. You know, I go around the water box, back up in the water box so my front tires didn't get wet, um, do my burnout. Then I would pull forward, hit the button once, traction or launch control and everything comes back on. And then um, I would wait for it to say, okay, then I hit the button one more time, and that basically puts me in my RPM two-step st uh, stage. So that's what I would do, and then I'd pull up to the line, uh, hold my RPM down, and that's what I did. Um, I mean, with that run, you know, I ran a 12.7, so, um, and then a 13.2, because I think, you know, so many things were coming into play, heat and all that, and I mean, who knows. But maybe that's why I wasn't breaking 11s, and if you guys know uh, the reason why, and if that was it, then please tell me. So yeah, the next time I go to the track, I'm gonna maybe try launch control, just see what it does. Because really, from what I can tell, it's only gonna affect you if you're losing traction. Well, if you're losing traction, I mean, you're, you're having a bad run anyway. So if you don't lose traction, then it should be the same as if it was off, right? So I'd like to see that and go from there. Um, but yeah, please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I wanna get some feedback on this. You know, let's talk shop about this, talk Shelby shop. Um, and uh, we'll go from there, but yeah. Please like, please subscribe, 
Um, if this shed any light for you, please let me know. Um, hit that bell, that notification button. Um, and as always, guys, please tell me what's in your stable. Because this is what's in this one. All right, guys. Well, you take care, and I'll catch you on the next video.